What up, people? Happy New Year's! No, uh, this is a story about my father, and I found out that he died on Christmas, and uh, I would be doing my vlog from outside on the beach, but it looks like this. What up, people? This is Bon Jo, you know. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Buy a t-shirt from teespring.com backslash this is Bunjo. Let's get into the story. Now, you've been here and what led me into 20, 2020 was, uh, so this is a New Year's episode um, and a New Year's story. Uh, what led me into 2020, I was leading with depression and got over it in 2020, moved to Europe, found a girlfriend, she just moved just before Christmas, pregnant, so I changed my whole life 180. And then on Christmas Day, um, I got news from uh, that my estranged father has passed away. And um, now, uh, first off, let me give you a little background about my father. So this guy, so uh, my sister, which I met two years ago, her name is Sarah. Uh, they informed me that they well I seen on her Facebook she didn't indirectly inform me but I seen on her Facebook that uh, our father died and I just met my that sister a couple years back so and that's the same time I found out about my father and then you know so let me get into the story so my aunt my father's sister uh, asked me what I knew about him and I just met my aunt today. So there it is. She asked me what I knew about him. Because she doesn't know. He was so, uh, he hated family, I guess. I don't know. Because he, he repelled all his family away from him. Like, like we were mosquitoes or something. You know what I mean? And uh, so she asked me what I knew about him. I'm like, huh, I know his name is Armin. And the other thing I know about him is that uh, he wasn't very nice to women. He went to jail, so let me give you, here's a story. Let's start off with a story about him. So this is all I know about him. So in 84, my mom got pregnant with me. My father went to jail for uh, robbing an old lady, pushing her down the stairs. So she, he went away for about nine years, I'd say. Came out when I was about nine, 10. Um, and this is the only time I ever met him. I met him one time in my life. So, and this is the only time I was coming home from school. I remember this vividly still. Coming home, you know, whistling like Andy Griffith and shit. And uh, this stranger pulls up in this little, you know, those rape vans, you know, that everybody says, watch that white van, it might be a raper, you know? I mean, my daddy didn't rape me or anything. I ain't getting about, I ain't doing that. I don't, he didn't touch me. This, he only met me one time. He doesn't kiss on first dates, no, <laughs> I'm joking. But uh, this is serious, actually. Um, so he kidnapped me and I don't know what his intentions were uh, I'm pretty sure they were for money money motivated something like this right I don't know if he'd actually harm me I don't think so but uh, you never know you never know what somebody's thinking especially somebody that just got out of the penitentiary so I get away my my grandpa lived about two blocks from there my Bubba and Dita the RIP and uh, what happened was I got out of there and I ran away from them crying because I was, I was scared, I was scared, so, and I got to my grandma and grandpa's, and they told me it was my father, and I never knew of this guy, right, so it was kind of weird to me and shocking, and so, from that point on, after I got away from this kidnapping, I never really brought it up, I never told my mom about the kidnapping until maybe last year, I just assumed everybody kind of knew about it, and, uh, so it was just like, it was just like something I kind of kept to myself for a while. I never, and growing up, I never asked my mom any questions about my father. Didn't, I had no, no idea, no. I just thought he was a bad person, right? Just not because my mom told me, just because I've been here and he's never, 30 something years, never, never tried to say hi to me except for kidnapping me for money. So I mean, there you go, that's bad, right? And he beat my mom and beat, you know, so it's like this. <clears throat> So about two years ago, just before I moved to Croatia, this guy contacts me. 
And this is all I know about this guy, right? He contacts me and says something like, uh, so he, he's uh, so, so for one, he calls himself Joe, which is my name, Joe. But apparently his middle name is Joseph's. So my first name is Joseph. So he calls himself Joe, Joe Demers on Facebook. And I'm like, <clears throat> that's weird. Cause I, I didn't know his middle name was Joe. I thought he was just saying it. So, so he sees my picture, me and my buddy, uh, uh, Andrew Hooker and Jeff Salas were in my basement on 14 Holton Street and we're dressed up in like uh, blazers and looking nice We're about to go out, you know, have some champagne, whatever And uh, there's a pink pipe across the ceiling because that's I told you guys about that pink pipe You know that ran across the ceiling and he's like I always knew you were gonna be a faggot And that's the first thing he ever said to me first thing he ever said to me. That's the first Introduction I had to him and then he commented like a wild man on all my pictures and then he commented some story like he called he's uh saying derogatory terms about my mom like you know my mom fancies a man or two you know you, you know a floozy whatever you but in a little harsher terms right and um so he starts telling me about this that angels came and picked him up uh from our house because uh, my mom tried to kill him and uh brought him to jail i'm like so you went to jail but my mom tried to kill you right buddy and then he started giving me all this fucking weird weird stories about angels and stuff and i'm like and i'm like dude i know you're a piece of shit and you scam women and that's what you do that's what you do for your whole life so so now my girlfriend last week so that's all i know about him right so those, those that's the story i have about him so my girlfriend that i met this year just turned my life around for the best I uh, became happy again, uh, have a kid on the way, met the love of my life, uh, moved to Europe, uh, got out of depression, got out of addiction, now I'm doing great. So, and I forget about this guy, right? So, at the back of your mind, you're like, oh, maybe, maybe it's like, it's nice to have a peace of mind that you, that at least you know your dad, right? That you know your father, you got a chance, for better or for worse, you know what I mean? Uh, and I... And I mean, sometimes I think about it, like, yeah, I should have, but I don't want to give him that satisfaction, especially if it's like, if he was getting sick and he wanted uh, closure for himself because it was a selfish move for just for him. I was like, I'm not giving this guy closure and let him get another one over me and giving me a bad experience. And then, I, and then he wins again because he, uh, he got excitement out of me. He got an action out of me, right? But now, so I got news. Yesterday that he died, today's his funeral. And obviously I'm not going because I'm in Europe. Uh, I don't know if I, I'm not saying I would go or wouldn't go, but it's just like, it's like now everybody, the, the whole the whole thing's crazy, right? Because like I said, my girlfriend left and all, all that shit changed around. And it was just Christmas where my girlfriend just went back to Argentina. So now I'm alone again. I get this news on Christmas day that he dies. So now it's today, his funeral. And now it's like, now that he's actually dead, it's like, oh man, do I still think about that? I, I see the pros and the cons of meeting him because there's a good person in me and you always want to see the good person in everybody else. Even if they are a piece of shit, even if they are evil, you always think that there's some sort of hope, there's some sort of thing. And it's like, do I have regrets about not meeting him? I guess, because it's like, you won't get that closure that maybe you'll need in the future. And I was just, Mad, selfish, hurt, whatever you want to say. I just didn't appreciate it. I mean, he, he, he has no weight in my life. Like, nothing. With or without him, uh, basically, he's been dead for 36 years. So why, why does his news of him dying today make any difference in my life? So what I got to say to you guys is, what would you guys do? Would you guys feel bad, sad, happy, glad? Uh, I don't know. It's like mixed emotions, you know what I mean? Cause I'm a human. I like. I have good intentions. I don't. I'm not evil like him. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. Just trying to make YouTube videos. And then you, you hear about this guy and throws another like. Oh, tries to make you cry again or feel bad again. But it's like maybe I'm different. Cause I don't feel. I don't feel that bad. But it's like now that I, I feel more like I have a whole bunch of family that I didn't get in touch with that I didn't get to know, which he robbed me of. Which he robbed me of having a father. And having all this so it's like just saying now that it's like yeah that's what I miss not get to know like this aunt Lillian or and her daughters or my sister and brother or uncle Ed 
or their parents or which would be my grandpa and grandma on his side I didn't get to know any of that family side so it's like but I appreciate the family I got like Strafko, Dale, Paul, Carly, Jay, Kristen, Danielle, Steve, Vince, Shauna, you know all their kids all these guys uh, Max, Maya, you know my mom uh, so I appreciate the family I already got and I don't really need family so it's like amazing you know so I don't know my question to you guys is should I feel guilty about not seeing him or should I just move keep it moving because it's like I get it human beings you feel guilty kind of because you you had the chance and I always thought you know I was thinking you always think you have the chance or oh, I got the chance next time I got that's why I'm saying hopefully 2021 20, is a better better place and I mean a better year but this year my life even though all that happened it didn't put an effect on my year my year was amazing I turned my life around I have a kid on the way I have a new girlfriend live in Europe everything's great have a great family every this was the best year of my life even during the pandemic so that really had no weight in making it a bad year or a good year but it does give you that con connotation or something that it's like oh should I feel bad I'm I don't question myself maybe I'm weird because I don't feel bad uh, I don't know it's just like it's crazy to me all right and it's like uh, I don't know just comment below tell me what you guys think and uh, I hope 2021 is the exact same kind of year everything going up and up and up and raising levels you know because there's levels to live in and uh, next year should be levels you know, I'm at 406 subscribers right now. I started off with zero experience. Zero. Like I didn't, never edited, never made a film before, never did anything. Bought a camera, uh, did all this shit, starting to edit now. Like everything's looking up. So it can only go up from here is what I'm saying. So uh, I don't know. I'm going to keep it moving and stay happy and stay blessed. Thank y'all for watching. This is Bunja. You know where it's at, boy. Sundin, you know, Sundin on the scene, boy. Sundin, get them slap shot hitters, yeah. And I'm gonna enjoy this Ojwiska and enjoy the rest of my year. And there's gonna be a party, a party video coming up. And this is my New Year's video, you know? A little depressing, but a little bit better. Because you can't, because everybody, if you wanna have happiness, you gotta have down times at the same time. If you wanna have, you gotta get down to get up, you know what I mean? And that's the facts. You gotta get down to get up. Gotta get down to get up. Everything's not just like this. You gotta go ding, 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 ding. That's, that's life. Ding, 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 ding. And that's life, you know what I mean? It's stairway. Stairway's to heaven, bro. That's how we do it. And uh, thanks for watching again. I know I already said that shit. But uh, this, this, was a, this was a different video, you know what I mean? Thank you.